Welcome again, Pisces. It's February 2015. I'm Dedici Toth from astrology.com.au with uh, a brief synopsis of what's happening over the next uh, few weeks for you in terms of the uh, planetary aspects and transits. Uh, you know, the important uh, full moon that takes place here in your 12th house on the 4th of February is going to really draw you inward. And that, of course, is one of your notable traits being what I consider and many astrologers consider the most spiritual sign of the uh, horoscope. You have the planet Mercury and Sun transiting this 12th house, the quieter zone of your horoscope, with Moon moving into the opposition of the Sun, creating that full Moon aspect. Uh, sorry, that's happening in the sign of Leo, opposite uh, the Aquarius. And that 6th house, 12th house opposition, has a lot to do with um, you know, selfless service, giving of yourself to others, and in particular because that, that full moon is taking place in your zone of work environment, um, it's likely people are going to lean on you and you're going to do your usual yes, yes, yes. And I think you need to um, have a bit of a double think about that before you do that. The Jupiter full moon conjunction is a very, very nice conjunction, but being in your sixth house, that uh, to me is a, is a bit of an alarm bell. You may be overdoing your work, you may be giving too much of yourself, uh, and just uh, just at a time when you're starting to help those that you choose, you may find other people coming out of the woodwork demanding and needing your assistance in other areas. So what you find there is that you're ill-equipped to handle that, either with uh, your energy or with your time. So pace yourself is, I think, the, the uh, key advice that I could give you there in that first week of the month. We also notice the hard aspects there of uh, Mars conjoining Sun, Mars in the right angle to the, uh, the mid-heaven or your career sector. And we did talk about the coming transit of Saturn to your professional area, the what we call the apex or the upper part of your horoscope, bringing with it a lot more responsibility. That can set up some real frustrating circumstances for you. For example, dealing with employers, bosses, managers who really don't give a rat's behind about what you want. They have their own agenda and you're expected to toe the line. So that ties in with that first full moon Jupiter aspect that I talked about. This could make you very angry. So you, you take a few deep breaths and just <laughs> chill out there, Pisces. Uh, get through that, which will take place around the forward movement of Mercury, which, uh, which occurs on the 12th of February. So that's a dynamic one for you. It relates to the fourth sector of your horoscope or your peace of mind, your domestic affairs, mother, and your hi historic past. So if there's something you've been waiting on um, and, and projects or deadlines are dependent on something in that area, then it's nice to know you can get the, uh, the green light thereafter, 12th of February. Um, the conjunction of Venus to the Sun, um, that's your, your, your Sun sign, is really a good counteractive measure throughout the whole of the month. It gives you a better opportunity to achieve what you want through sensual persuasion, uh, good looks, fine dress, new hairstyle, a change in makeup. Use the visuals to achieve what you want. Um, and you know, sometimes, as they say, silence is golden. And rather than talking your way through any problems, just use a little bit of that charm to win people across to your particular viewpoint. The sun moves on the 19th of February to your sun sign, and that's just around the time of the new moon. Now, the new moon is very, very important, taking uh, important taking place in, again, that 12th house, Aquarius, which has to do with hospitals, spirituality. Um, you may embark on a whole new cycle of um, spiritual rejuvenation at this time. Some of that may have to do with 
servicing people that are less fortunate than yourself, uh, which again is a, another dominant theme for uh, Pisces-born individuals. Um, but that's in the that's in the background. Some of the other important transits around the 20th, 21st, 22nd, Mars and Venus moving to your finance sector, that shifts a lot of the energy into the uh, pure practicality of things, the earnings, and uh, whatever difficulties you've had, as I mentioned earlier, with your bosses, with that retrograde Mercury communications, uh, I think you can look forward to some positive uh, goal achievement, and uh, that will be in a tangible form financially um, after that date. The conjunction of Venus and Mars on the 22nd is extraordinarily powerful. Mars is by far the better planet, but Venus for you does bring with it some unexpected gains, uh, money that you hadn't planned on. So that's, that's a positive prediction for you. The Sun square Saturn on the 24th is not so good, but that's also counteracted by the Venus and the Mars trine aspect on the 25th and 26th. Um, these are again to do with your uh, profession. You need to sit down and talk with your employers at this time or managers that are being really, really... Um, inflexible in their viewpoints because it, it'll make life hard for you in terms of achieving what you need to in the workspace. Uh, the Sun conjoining your ruling planet Neptune on the 26th is uh, again a very beautiful aspect. It shows that you can really um, find your form there and bring out not only the spiritual component of your personality but you can do that in a way that uh, is practically applicable and beneficial not just to yourself but to, to other people that you deal with. Look forward to your company again next month here. Uh, the website is astrology.com.au. Your daily, monthly and yearly readings are available there in depth along with a whole lot of other free uh, oracles and uh, psychic readings. For those of you who uh, want to attempt it, who may not have tried it, uh, a live psychic, astrologer, clairvoyant such as myself and our team uh, in the network are more than happy to help you with any of those more difficult uh, to deal with problems. So I hope we can help you there. Until next month, have a great one. Bye-bye.